Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, what are you manifesting into your life, right? Without even realizing it. What are you manifesting? What are you bringing in to your life? Like, what do you want? What are you looking for, right? Holy Spirit, what are you manifesting into your life? Hmm. It looks like you're manifesting some delays. Like you're unsure about going forward in something, with something. It's like you're just kind of sitting a little idle a little bit, right? You're manifesting the Ten of Pentacles. That's what you want. What you want is family, life, abundance. You know, you want to be comfortable. You want to be able to eat. Right? But you're hesitant about the Ten of Pentacles. You're definitely standing in your strength when it comes to the situation here about should you give to the situation. It's like you're hesitating. I think you're standing up for yourself in this Ten of Pentacles here. But there's a lot of burdens that's going on now in that Ten of Pentacles. Like you're not happy with what you're being given. So right now, you're just kind of manifesting. You're keeping yourself busy with work. But in your energy is a lot of burdens and it's just unacceptable. You're just like, you're almost over it. So you're keeping yourself busy. You're keeping yourself, you're like, mm -mm -mm, not today. So you're kind of hesitating on Am I going to stay in this Ten of Pentacles with all these burdens and try to just keep myself busy and ignore it, right? So that's what you're manifesting. You're wondering, should you stay or should you go? Holy Spirit. You are definitely manifesting. You can have everything that you want, everything that you need to manifest. I think you're hesitant about the Ten of Pentacles because you believe that there's another person in the energy. Like, you believe your person is cheating in this energy. So you're hesitant. But you're standing your ground. You're standing in your strength. And you're like, look, that can't happen here with this Five of Wands in reverse. So somebody's standing in their strength. You're standing in your strength. I guess if they were dealing with someone, they're not anymore. Or maybe you told them you need to curb that shit. I don't know. But it's in reverse next to this Queen of Wands in reverse. So someone was in your energy being very deceitful, causing a lot of conflict. But you're like, look, I'm not dealing with this conflict anymore. Like, you're not going to argue. We're not doing this, right? Is what you're basically saying. You're starting to wonder, was this a gift from Spirit? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is becoming very burdensome for you. It's becoming a problem. It's becoming a problem. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This could be giving you money problems. You could be having money problems with this situation here because you started at the Ten of Pentacles. And now you have the nine. So you can be having money problems in this situation. You're trying to heal. You don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to do. But you're definitely healing. Maybe you found out that your person was doing something they wasn't supposed to be doing here. With this nine of pentacles. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And I think you probably found out as well. Because you're the magician. So you probably found out that they were dealing with somebody else. So you definitely manifested who the hell they was messing with. Holy Spirit, what's going on? Yeah. This person abused their power. The King of Wands in reverse. This was the devil. This was lust for them. Right? It was lust. 
And now this person, whoever they stop messing with, now they want to come back and be with you, right? I guess somebody got clarity. They want to come back and be with you. Because whoever they got with, that's how probably who this Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. This person is causing a lot of trouble for them. Deceit, hidden agendas. So again, your person cheated on you and got cheated on. I was Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep, they got played because here it is. They could have lost money with this person. They realized this is something they shouldn't have been doing. But see, you manifested it. You manifested the lie. You manifested what was going on. It was in your intuition. You figured it out. But your person got played. Yep, they cheated you and they got played. So now they're trying to backtrack and come back to you. Yeah, this person played them. <laughs> person played them. Sure did. They had secret hidden agendas. This person was doing something else. Look at that. So now this person is ready to change. Now they want to change. Is that right? Is that right? Somebody went out there and created burdens for themselves, didn't they? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the screen of wands in reverse. Because now you're thinking about, hmm, is this what I want to do or not? Holy Spirit, clarify the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, they thought <laughs> they thought this was going to be their stability. They thought they was going somewhere. Spirit, clarify this quick one in reverse. They thought that was their stability. But they got mental clarity on that, didn't they? They got some truth. Holy Spirit, what do they get about this four wands? What is this ace of swords? Yep, it was a horrible ending. I told you, this is the second one where your person cheated on you, went and got with somebody else and got cheated on. Now they're coming crawling back to you in the Eight of Cups in reverse. But hurt. No. No. Keep your wet ass out there, right? Keep your ass out there. Holy Spirit, clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Look, now they're not standing in their strength. They don't know what to do. They have a lot of self-doubt now. Look at them. Now they're trying to look at the long-term view of everything, trying to see, like, who and what they didn't invest in. Now they want to do some work. Whatever. This is that King of Wands in reverse again. King of Wands here. This person was very impulsive. Very impulsive. High, high expectations. And all that stuff. This person got played like a fiddle. Now they trying to heal and come back to you. You dumbass. Sorry, guys. Holy Spirit, clarify this five of swords upright. Mm -hmm. The tower is over. This person went through it. Now they're trying to change. Right? Now they're trying to change. It was a stormy time for this person. Well, guess what? It was stormy for you too. Cheating ass. Now they're dealing inner turmoil. They're going to reach out to you if they haven't already. They're going to be very diligent. They're going to work really hard at it. At it. They're going to come back trying to view things differently. This person is a hangman. Whatever. This was on the dark side of wealth. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So they lost their Ten of Pentacles as well. You dumb ass. But what they thought was going to be their emotional fulfillment. And look, that emotional fulfillment walked away from them. You dumb ass. Who was this person, Spirit? Holy Spirit. Now they're tracking your every move. <laughs> Isn't that funny? How much do they angels? This person prefers situationships over relationships. On the bottom, uh, they ghosted you. Guess what? Let them have it. All right, guys. This is your reading. So you manifested. You was trying to figure out if your person was cheating or not or anything like that. And... You manifested the truth. They are, and they got played. This is the second video where somebody's person cheated and got played. And now they're come high telling it back to you. Isn't that some shit? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.